Hey guys, what is up? It is Stuttle245 here, bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops. This is a domination on the map Villa. <clears throat> I was playing with one of my friends here. It's not the guy that's actually in blue on this screen, so... I'm not sure why it did this, but Black Ops, you know, messes up once in a while, so... That happens, you know, theater more mode has its problems, as we have all seen. But, that's okay. You know, I come in here, this isn't too exciting at first, you know, I come up in this window, you know, this is the normal... You know, spa for Villa, both team deathmatch and domination. It's a really good spot to grab some kills. And so I come up here, protect B. And <clears throat> what I kind of want to do this game, you know, there's going to be parts of the game where I talk about the gameplay, but I also want to talk about um, like the good things about Black Ops. This is going to be my like last, you know, Black Ops commentary before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Right now, when I'm recording this, it is like 9 a.m. Eastern Time um, on Monday, the day before it comes out, so November 7th. And <clears throat> this is, you know, this was a good game. This was actually a game from like a week ago. <clears throat> oh, sorry, man. I have like a sore throat here, so that's why I'm, you know, I have to, like, my throat's just been bothering me lately, so sorry about that. But, like, this is a game, you know, not too long ago, like a week ago, I recorded this. And it was a pretty good domination game that I had. You know, I was using a silenced commando. And I don't know what kill streaks I was using. I don't really remember, but I think we'll find out here. I think I think I had a chopper gunner on. But I honestly don't remember. So as it is now, we're just, you know, doing the thing, holding A and B. You know, here I see someone's on B, I just can't seem to get them. And now I am completely out of ammo. And so I decide, you know, call in this, maybe get some kills, maybe, you know, free me up a little bit so I can find a way around, find me a gun. And luckily this guy died up here, and so I was able to steal his commando. I think the reason I was using the commando is I bought a contract to get so many kills with the commando. I think it was like 75, maybe like 80 kills, 75 kills, something like that with the commando. I don't know, maybe it was just 50. I honestly don't remember, but... No, it wasn't bad. But the things that I'm going to miss about Black Ops, um, I kind of like the lower damage of the guns. Most people disagree with me on this, and that's perfectly fine. You know, you, I am perfectly okay with that. But the, I'll give you my reasoning for this. I just get destroyed there. <clears throat> but you know, the reason I like the lower damage is because then it's more it's more skill based it's not like if you come in and you know you just have horrible aim but manage to get maybe like two shots on the guy because you happen to you know see him a little early you know you get the kill where with this game you know you could be a little bit you know just a little bit slower to see the person and not get your shots on target like not start shooting first Yet, if you have the better aim, you're probably going to get the kill because he'll probably miss and you won't. And check this spot out. See, I come up here, getting flashed like crazy. I grab, so far I grabbed like two kills, pick up a third there, and that guy in the window is just shooting at me and so I can't get out from, like, around this thing here. And so I start shooting up there, but apparently he's gone already, so. Now I just decide, you know, I'll help my teammate cap A because... On this map, I prefer to hold A and B, because then you can just hold down this house, you know, this building right here, upstairs and downstairs, you know, just keep alternating between up and down, and it's really easy to hold A and B, really easy to just, you know, just win. All you need is the two flags, and you're all set, so that's why I do this, but, <clears throat> you know, the low damage is one thing, and the high recoil, that's another thing, but from the sounds of things, Modern Warfare 3 also has the high recoil. And so I'm very happy with that, that's good. That's one thing, Modern Warfare 2, I didn't like about it. Because it it takes away from some of the difficulty, you know, you get the ACR in Modern Warfare 2, there's like no recoil. You get it pointed somewhere and hold, you know, just hold down the fire, you know, R1 button there, and just... You know, full auto just spray and it ends up at all the bullets going almost in the same hole it's just ridiculous I mean that that's not realistic at all now I mean 
some of like the light machine guns, some of them don't have as much recoil because of the weight of the gun. And so I think I hope in Modern Warfare 2 they take into take that stuff into account when they're calculating like the recoil of the weapons and stuff. You know, hopefully they do it more realistically. You know, that would be really great. I don't know. I haven't actually heard anyone talk about like the realistic, like how realistic the you know recoil is and stuff like that. But you know, hopefully it's better. Black Ops did a pretty good job, I gotta say. So, um, I I like some of the map designs, some of the map designs in Black Ops, not all, not even close to all. But I think they did like some of the stuff. I think they did was pretty cool. Um, so, like, this is one of the maps I actually like in Firing Range. Is, you know, that's an awesome map. Now, Nuketown, I don't like. Nuketown is one of those things that it was just, like, it was easy for people that were not good at the game to do well on, because, you know, it's a small map, there's people everywhere, you're gonna get some kills. Now, I didn't really care for the color from, of all the maps on Nuke, or on Black Ops here. Um, it's, it's very dull. Like, look at this map, I mean... It's really dull. I mean, there's a little bit of green, but it's a lot of brown and gray. And I don't know. All the maps seemed like this. And I know they were going for, like, you know, I guess this was around, like, Vietnam time, something like that. But, I mean, it just was bad. I mean, it, I don't know. It's just not good. The Just colors need to be better. And so I'm really hoping that Modern Warfare 3 it's more colorful maps. You know, Infinity War tends to do that. They tend to have a little bit brighter. I don't know. It just it makes the game look better, and you know that doesn't really affect gameplay a whole lot. But I think that's just a nice thing to have in the game. Now, another thing that I hope is improved on is sound. Um, Black Ops, the sound was terrible. Now, Modern Warfare 2, the sound was good. At the time that I was playing Modern Warfare 2, I was so bad at the game that I didn't pay any attention to sound. Honestly, it was like I didn't pay any attention at all to the sound. So, that's just kind of a, you know, that just kind of shows, you know, I was really bad at the game, but, I don't know, it, I'm a lot better now. When I ended Modern Warfare 2, I had like a 1.1 KD, now I've got a 2.3 in Black Ops, so. Yeah, I'm. I've definitely been improving my game, and I got myself a headset. Actually, it's the Sony wireless one. It's you know, not that. It's not great. It's not bad. You know, if you're looking for like one of the top headsets, you know, this it's not the one to go for. But for the you know price, it's definitely a good. You know, it's a good buy. So, oh look at that! The shotgun just destroys me. But you know, that's a lot. Of the things, you know, the good, the ups and downs, you know, with Black Ops. Another downside is Ghost, but in Modern Warfare 3, the sounds of things, you know, with Assassin. Yeah, hey, from what I've heard, Assassin is unlocked very late in the game, which will be a good thing because that means people are going to have to work through the game without using it till later on, and so they're going to get used to, you know, the people that are at lower levels aren't going to be able to use it. So it's going to be very, you know, it's not going to be as big of a role as we all expected, which is a really good thing. So, um, but the bad thing about it is, you know, you have, if you have the pro version, I'm not sure like what the pro version completely does, but I know if you have UAV, I, I think with the pro version, UAV and counter UAV does nothing, and I know advanced UAV does nothing for you. So you're just completely invisible to the radar which is not a very good thing because it it promotes camping like it promotes camping but it also like um it's just I don't know it slows the gameplay down so I'm glad it's unlocked later in the game I still think they put it made it too powerful but it's a little too early to tell so I guess that's something we'll find out later on look at that three oh, four piece there now, three with napalm, only one with a gun. But <laughs> still great. So, and here I could have had another three piece, but I screw up, only get one. But it was enough for my last chopper gunner, which ends the game as soon as I call it in. So, hopefully, you guys, you guys enjoyed this. This is like a farewell video for Black Ops. You know, my last one before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. 
And so I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a great game. Look at that. I go 40 and 4. You know, five caps, three defends. Just a great game. I was playing with two of my friends. You know, I, I'm I really enjoyed Black Ops. It's been a really great game. You know, it definitely you know has brought me into the Call of Duty series, and I'm here for good. So can't wait for Modern Warfare 3. Getting getting it tomorrow morning. You know, I'm gonna be uploading videos for it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I definitely am. And, you know, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And I really hope you guys have a good one.